The Commanders have hired 24 new coaches in the past two and a half weeks. Are they building a super team? What's up guys, it's Acti and today we're going to talk about what the commanders have been up to the past couple weeks. At first look, Dan Quinn wasn't a very flashy hire, and maybe he wasn't the flashy hire, but he's assembled 24 coaches in the past two weeks. These guys are way overqualified for the positions we're hiring them for, and we're using their minds collectively to build a super team. After going, I believe, 4-13, and 13, I'm not going to double check because I don't want to relive what happened this past year, we finally decided to let Ron Rivera go in his fourth year of his tenure. And don't get me wrong, Ron gave us some great memories, but he's been rebuilding this team for four years now. It was time to go. Now, we weren't the only team in the market for a coach, and honestly, in years past, we would be most likely the least attractive option, just based off of Dan Snyder, I guess, mainly. But with that stink out of the building and Adam Peters as our GM, we were actually an attractive destination for some coaches. For a long time, there was a lot of talk about Bobby Johnson, I believe. What's his name? A lot of people were thinking that Ben Johnson was going to be our next head coach. But with Ben Johnson going back to the Lions, we had only a couple other options that I would be interested in. There were a couple coordinators that were looking to try their hand at the head coaching job, but Ben Johnson was definitely the top guy. So after a couple weeks, the head coaching market was uh, kind of dwindling. A couple of the guys had already signed to other teams, and my commanders decided to go with Dan Quinn. And at first, Dan Quinn was definitely not a flashy hire, but after seeing the roster of coaches he's assembled, I'm genuinely excited for the 2024 season. I'm going to cover most of the main people like offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, but I'm also going to highlight some of the people that I think are way overqualified for their position and are going to contribute a huge amount in the coaching rooms. Dan Quinn got to work quick and within two days of being hired as our head coach, he hires Cliff Kingsbury to be the next offensive coordinator of the Washington Commanders. Cliff Kingsbury is a young coach who has spent a lot of time in the college world and moved up to the Arizona Cardinals for a couple years and then got sent back to the college world. The thing that's very unique about Cliff Kingsbury is that he's coached both Patrick Mahomes and Caleb Williams. Now, I'm not going to go too far into depth on Caleb Williams because I would like to do a whole video about him possibly coming to the Commanders, but let's just say things look good that we might get him. Cliff Kingsbury NFL record as a coach is 28-37-1, which isn't very good, but he's assembled some pretty high-powered offenses in his time as both an NFL coach and a college coach, and I'm excited to see what he could do as our offensive coordinator. For defensive coordinator, we have Joe Witt Jr. Joe Witt Jr. has had a long history in the NFL working with teams like the Packers, he's worked with Falcons, he's worked with uh, Dallas, he's worked with the Browns, I'm reading off a list. Most recently, Deron Bland, who broke the record for pick sixes, and he just kind of goes everywhere and seems to rank the teams that he joins in top 10 for passing defense, which is really exciting to see. He also coached Trayvon Diggs the year that he had 11 interceptions, so it's safe to say that DBs strive underneath this guy. Then we got people like our assistant head coach, Brian Johnson, who came over from the Eagles. He's also going to be acting as our offensive passing game coordinator. Brian Johnson hasn't been an NFL coach for all that long. He just transitioned from being a college coach in 2021, but he joined the Philadelphia Eagles as their quarterback coach and wide receiver coach, and we see how Jalen Hurts and their group has turned out. Now, I'm not saying that the coaching is the reason why A.J. Brown plays football as well as he does, but that star-studded wide receiver group and Jalen Hurts is enough for me to know that he's been coaching some pretty talented players and at least knows how to work with people and get the best out of them. We also got Anthony Lynn from the 49ers. Anthony Lynn's NFL career can be described as a journeyman's career as he played for four teams in the span of seven years. But upon retiring, Anthony Lynn started coaching for the Denver Broncos and for a ton of teams after that since 2000. He's done everything from running backs coordinator to offensive coordinator, interim head coach, head coach, assistant head coach, and offensive coordinator. Most recently, he was the assistant head coach and running backs coach for the 49ers. I'd also like to highlight some of the players we have on our coaching staff, like Ryan Kerrigan, who's our all-time sack leader still, or players like William Gay, who had a great career as a defensive back and is going to be functioning as our uh, assistant defensive back coach. And these are just some of the coaches we've assembled. I genuinely believe that the Washington Commanders are building a super team. And someone can fact check me on this, but all of the coaches combined have over 10 Super Bowl wins. How many years will it take for the Washington Commanders to bring the Lombardi back home?